everything in personnel, the attendance, I'm going to skip for now. And it's, I'm just going to show you how to add the device here. I'm just going to quickly drink some water. Just hold on for me. All right. So now we are on the device tab. You will see on the left hand side, we have the devices. Okay, so over here, you'll be able to add new devices if you'd like. So click on the add window over here. You'll see that this cancel is now uh, become active. So they, then you know you're on the add here. You can put in a name. This can be anything. This can be, for example, reception so you know that this device is in reception uh, you will just call it whatever you'd like this can be an f17 it can be the name of the device that's always helpful then you'll put in the ip address of this device let's say for example uh, it is the default ip settings that we send our devices on all right then you'll just select this and put in the default ip settings unless you have already added a different ip setting on your device okay how many devices do you want to add just one and then also the port number by default you can just leave that on that as well all right so once you've done this you'll just say test connection unfortunately this device is no longer online so now i will not be able to add this device but in your case um, if it does this as well please make sure that you are able to ping that device on your command uh, prompt window on your uh, windows right so if you can't ping it please make sure that you are uh, on the same range or in the same uh, ip range of your device or make that device's ip range into the same range as your pc's ip range all right it's very important also make sure that your firewall is down because uh, that can also restrict connection as well all right so once you've done that uh, it will connect without fail so if you can ping your device it will connect if you can't ping your device unfortunately it will not connect so you'll need to set up your internet settings as well oh very important uh, you need to make sure that your pc's ip settings is on static all right so if it's not on static then your pc uh, will change ip ranges uh, every now and then and then uh, your device will lose connection all right, so please make sure that your PC's IP address is on static as well. So once you've clicked on a test connection, you will see some information here populate at the bottom. It will tell you what the device model is that you've just added, how many fingerprints uh, is on this device. Uh, we had the fingerprint, the fingerprint version, right? So uh, we have a few different devices. The older versions of fingerprint version is nine, so number nine. And I think the latest one is 10, maybe 11 or 12 as well. Right, so you'll see the amount of transactions on that device as well, fingerprints, how many palm prints, how many facials, how many employees are loaded on that device. So you'll see all of the information on this device as well. All right, you're able to select the area. I will show you how to create and where to create an area for your device. But if you, let's say, for example, you click on training. Remember on the personnel, when we added the employee, we said where they can clock in and out. So if you select training room uh, for this device, then they can clock in and out on this uh, device, for example. Right. So if you selected that area for the employee as well, then they can clock in on this device. Right. Uh, if I click on this, you don't need to know anything. No, you don't. OK, so the most important part is just this little window over here. Let's click on, if I click on save now, for example, there we go, we have our first device, All right? Uh, on the area, let's go to area. So unfortunately, this device will be offline. So just know that this device uh, does, isn't connected with any device because there's no information over here. But in your case, it will be connected if you set test connection, all right? So once you've said save on the device, you can go ahead and add different uh, areas. Let's say, for example, you want to add a new one. You can just type in a name there. Uh, this is just a, fic uh, a fictional uh, area. OK, you can always assign employees on this side as well. So you don't need to do it on the uh, employee uh, on their own. So if you select this over here, it'll mean that these employees that I've just selected uh, are able 
Okay, so they are already assigned. Let's quickly go to this one, for example, boardroom. We'll see that Marne, for example, can't add himself or can't clock in on the devices in the boardroom, for example. So I just mo moved him over. And then on this one here, uh, there should be a few. So I'm just going to select these guys. They can also clock in. Uh, so just make sure that they are on the assigned window over here. So they can clock on the devices allocated to this area. Okay, so currently we only have one device and he is allocated uh, to training room. Okay, so the other device, there's no other devices allocated to any one of the other uh, areas, but in your case, you can have multiple areas, maybe called as a building or maybe different room, just so you know where this device is. On the sync data, you'll be able to sync some information. So if I select a area here, you can select it for all of your areas. Okay, so I'm just gonna say here, so this is the device, remember? Okay, so if I can just go here, I'm just gonna rename this. I'm just gonna say F22, for example. I'm gonna save that. And then on the sync data, you'll see here, we have our F22 and it's allocated to the training room area. Uh, so you'll be able to select between different devices or you can just select all of them like i have now for example and let's say you want to sync the information on uh, the facials the palms etc etc so you can just go ahead and select everything if you'd like otherwise don't select that just leave it if you don't have a device that doesn't have facials don't select the facials because it will just run forever once you click on sync data a little small window on the right hand side will open up for you uh, let me just make sure you can actually see this. Yes, you can. Okay. So it'll give you some messages here. It will say uh, it's trying to connect to this device. It failed to connect because my device is currently offline. In your case, it will say uh, connect successful and then it will keep, start doing the uh, sync process. Okay. So to start getting the fingerprint templates, it will get your employee information etc etc it will give you like how many employees you have how many fingerprints you have etc etc all right so you can choose uh, what you'd like to sync synchronization means that it's pulling the information from the device making sure everything uh, is the same on the device and your software and then pushing that device back or pushing that information back to the device okay so very important please make sure that when you do this that everything is uh if you have someone loaded on the device with a employee number ID number one, right? Please make sure that they are number one on the software as well. Okay, so here's the other uh, option that I told you about in the beginning when we actually, when we added some device or employees, right? I told you there's two ways of adding employees. The first one is on the software that I showed you already. And the second method is adding them from the device okay so you won't add them on the uh, software you'll just add them on the device and then pull that information from the device so how do you do that you add the device right so you install it on the wall and then you add it to the software so once you've done that then you just enroll your employees on the device itself okay so you'll have number one uh, call him someone number two call him someone enroll fingerprints for both of them etc cetera, etc cetera. and then once you've done with all of your people in your uh, on your site then you'll just come to this window over here and you'll click on sync then it will pull the information from your device and then place it inside of your personnel etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so that's one way of doing it the usb drive option you have here this is optional so if you selected it inside of the system you can select uh, if you want to uh, import let's say transactions or something or employee photos or something like that from your device okay so your device firstly needs a usb port okay so if your device doesn't have that then it won't work okay so let's say for example your device has a usb port then you can just put this usb in there uh, pull the information and then just place it inside of the photos etc okay so this is just useful if let's say for example your device is offline okay and you're still using it but it's not connected by a, a, a LAN cable or wi-fi or anything like that so you don't have any network here you just want to use it offline uh, then you can always get the transactions as well as the photos 
via USB. Okay, so you'll have to select the device or the finger the fingerprint algorithm of your device, as well as does this device have a black and white screen or does it have a color screen? Okay, so we'll just select there whatever you'd like. Once you say okay, it will look some formation on the stick or the USB that you plug. Currently, I don't have one plugged in, so it will not show anything for me. But obviously, you can uh, import it, refresh it, etc. Short messages. Short messages on the device um, is a way of broadcasting messages on your device's screen. Okay, so if your device doesn't have a screen, then this will be useless for you. But if your device has a screen uh, and you'd like it to display some messages, for example, you can create that. Okay, so over here we already have a, a few different that we have already created. The first one is Women's Month that I've created, I said that it should start on the 1st of the 8th, and then it should last for a whole month displaying this on the screen. Happy Women's uh, Month to all the ladies, all right? Um, so on the 1st of the 8th, this will be displayed on the screen of the device, all right? And this will be displayed on which devices? The devices allocated to the training room, boardroom, etc. Okay, so once it's been created, you can't change anything on this. You'll have to delete it to recreate this, for example. So if I click 